The human research facility racks in the Columbus Laboratory allow ISS crew members to study one of Earth's most advanced organisms, the human body. Astronauts conduct medical exams, track changes in health and behavior, and research countermeasures to reduce the harmful effects spaceflight has on humans. Our bodies are well suited to work under the force of Earth's gravity, but long duration spaceflight results in muscle atrophy, bone deterioration, cardiovascular deconditioning, and a weakened immune system. In an effort to understand these changes and how they affect astronaut health, the HRF is used to conduct several types of physiology experiments. For example, the CARD and Integrated Cardiovascular Experiments are two investigations designed to better understand how the heart functions in microgravity. Without the force of gravity for the heart to pump against, the heart muscle weakens in space. Scientists want to understand what this might mean for astronauts on orbit as they increase their time spent in space and also how this will affect their return to Earth's gravity. The Space Linear Acceleration Mass Measurement Device, called SLAM-D, is an advanced scale that measures body mass without the pull of gravity. It does this by applying Newton's second law of motion, which states that mass equals force divided by acceleration. An astronaut sits on a pull-arm assembly that moves with a constant force while his or her acceleration is recorded with a precise optical instrument that measures position over time. By tracking changes in astronauts' body mass over time, scientists can better understand their nutritional status while on orbit. The nutrition status assessment focuses on the effects diet has on bone health, chemical and hormone changes, and oxidative damage in space. Urine and blood samples are collected before, during, and after spaceflight for biochemical analysis to determine the effectiveness of both nutrition and pharmaceuticals that are being tested for maintaining astronaut health on the space station. Nutrition research is necessary for establishing proper food and vitamin diets for long-duration space missions as we explore destinations beyond low Earth orbit. Although the intended goal of the HRS research is to understand how the human body reacts to long-duration spaceflight, the added benefit from much of this research is that it helps us to better understand heart disease, muscle degeneration and osteoporosis, ailments suffered by millions of people on Earth today. <laughs>